Hello everybody, welcome back to Storm Search YouTube channel. So we're here at Monster Oval for some fundraise. So we're doing something called the Corp Cup. Which is not a official race. So we're doing all this for fun. There's no points. No I rain. No safety points. We're just kind of having a good fun. Shit groove me around. And we're gonna be since 2022 next generation cup course. So we we are gonna go ahead and pro five. Sorry. Mess with the overlays real quick. Right, I got my overlays adjusted. So now we're ready to go. I had not done any practice here. Again, we're doing this all for fun. We're probably gonna die. We'll probably crash out. But it'll be all in good fun. Whew. I'll tell you what, that gen cause or a beach that bumpy tracks like this. You can hardly feel the bumps and the and the turns. Okay, so you can feel a little bit of the bumps. I can feel it in my steering. But it will be a lot worse than any other cores than this cut core. So that's awesome. Try and generate the speed. Trying to be fast. Not sure how you can be fast in these cores. We'll find out. You're feeling the bumps now. Basically, you're keeping the steering straight, going onto it. A little bit of history of this place. I think there was a race or two when the former one would use the banks. But they stopped using the banking in the early 60s. And I think this track overall to stop using the banks in the 60s. And at that then just leaving alone, just laying there get worn down for over 40 or 50 years. It's still there today, thankfully. Right. Not the best lap, but again, this is this is a fun race. The Corp Cup. The points doesn't really matter that much. We're just here to have some fun. This is also my first video recording with the next generation core. I had done um, a couple of raids in next gen cores, but that was before I returned to YouTube and started to record the races again. So, um, this is my first video with next generation cores. So that should be fun. I'm gonna adjust the ju um, grab this real quick. Something causing um, my, my graphic core to max out at Teledea, so I'm trying to lower the graphics a little bit. And curtain places.
Hopefully that'll work better for the graphics. I was, I'm just making small minor adjustments to get some graphics to work better. I think the graphics are working better now. I made a couple small changes. Alright, we're gonna join the grid. Um, we're right in the middle of the pack. So, no idea if that's a good or bad thing. But again, this is a fun raid. We're not really taking this raid too seriously. Um, we're probably gonna die, but... Again, this is not a serious race. There's no point. There are no costs. Um, it's just straightforward. Balls to wall racing. Or 15 laps. Assuming we survive 15 laps. But that's what carb cups are for. It's just to relax. And have some fun. This track, though, is very, very, very narrow to make your Y racing work that well. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Try and figure out how to start in first or second year. So, the big difference between the today cut core in 2021 and the future cut core in 2022 is the gears are different. So there are five gears in this core. I can't pronounce it very well because I'm a dead person. But the big difference is the cut core had four gears in 2021 before. And the next generation core had five gears. Because the shipping system's different, it's not an age, it's not an age shipper, it's something else. But you all know what I'm talking about, you know, you know about the core. Alright, we are starting 7th, and no idea if we're gonna survive or not, it's gonna be funny. We're probably not going to win, we're probably not going to survive, so keep that in mind. Richard Groovy Ram. We're probably going to get run over. Hopefully nobody's taking it three wide. We're all to try and survive the first lap. That reach was way close to the inside. Oh, what the? What the? Well, that is dumb. <laughs> How did that even happen? Do we get um, a free repair? We do. We're gonna have to use the pit road. Get um, free repair in. That's alright. I would be mad if nothing matters in this race. But thankfully, nothing matters, so we're having fun. Oh, that's really fast pit route. This is um, a really fast pit limit. I overshot it. I, sh I just try and turn the tires off. I got the left tires off, but that's okay.
clearly um, somebody lost the talent and took us out. My bad guys. Trying to catch up to these guys up front. I also became the. So these guys are pulling away a little bit. There's a couple cores we joined the field. Number high. There we go. It doesn't look like we're catching up back to the cores in front of us though. Alright, try and get some draft. Not a bit surprised. Um, giraffe runs a bit deal at this track. We're going at almost under 90 miles per hour. Damn the straightway. This is pretty damn fast for this core. I think people are expecting these cores to be slower. Um, to be about 5 or 10 miles per hour slower than the current cores. Or at places like Tailgate Daytona. It's weird to think we're probably going to be racing on these cores for the next five or six years at Bindum. Give or take. Since racing set cores was from 2013 to 2021, so that was eight years. And these cores probably will be around for the next seven or eight years. It was going to be a fun video, but now it's pretty boring because I got taken out from the crash pretty early on. Which is fine, it's not a big deal. Um, this race doesn't really mean much. We're just aiming a fun drive. So, I'm just trying to get something out as far as contents go for my YouTube channel. Ten more laps of this. I can't believe how wide these cores are now. You can barely do too wide in this, at this track. It's a weary, it's a weary, um, a bum move that we got caught and crashed early on and we really had a chance at winning this race. But I'm kind of enjoying myself right now, just enjoying the drive.
right? So these cores are down to 184 mile per hour and we're out drafting behind anyone else. I think I was hanging 192 when I had somebody in front of me. So that's a bit different with the drafting. Give it a couple more laps, and I'm probably took them pick, pull over and picked and pulled the race because this again, this race doesn't really matter too much. It's not that interesting unless you're in the top set, racing each other for first place. That's First place, that doesn't really mean much, except for some bragging rights to friends, I guess. Be like, oh, I won at Moza with the cup course once. And pick the box. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I almost, I almost stand myself into, into the wall, into the armco walls. That is funny. It's a lot of fun, honestly. Oh, there's a branch. So I just die up. Oh. Front. Oh well. Probably the most meaningless top fly ever. Certainly I passed all these cores on the pit road. So I was working a little bit. Much longer. I think we had two more laps when we get to the white flag. So I might as well finish the race. Had some fun. Get myself a additional top five. A top five that doesn't really matter much. Get a Sunday dry and it'll leak. Literally just viewing this for one hand now.
got my O1 behind my back too. As we take the white flat, I think this is the white flat. Yes, this is the white flat. Again. Again, some over. random fun. Nice run, solid work. Probably should look check out the crashes though. That first lap crash that I was involved in. Because that was something. Right, gonna shut down the overlays so we can we can see it better. Okay, these are some very cool views. The camera views are pretty awesome. So my thank you was I'm gonna make it be wide and get around that guy. Oh, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Somebody clipped at the grass and caused all that. <laughs> that is sad. That is really sad. That's probably the lamest way I probably died from grass I ever seen. I'm gonna start the clip at the turn because it's such an awesome view. This is all pretty awesome, you know. I, I love the camera angles here. We were doing pretty awesome, and then somebody just clipped the grass. And store all of that. Set some bean grades. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. That was some fun though. I want to see that one more time. Fuddiest shit I've ever seen. Alright, so this guy, he died eventually, but how? So I think they end up dying in turn four. I'm sorry, turn three and four. So these guys, they were bump drafting. That's true, I think. I think it was this group of people that ended up killing all these people. 
That guy went into the grass, took out everybody. Wow, nice save. That was a nice save. And he got bored, so he's like, I'm leaving. And murdered out a um, few hundred people on, on the pit row. Let's, let's watch that crash from camera. Ouch. Well, that's it. Oh, that is pretty up there. The trees are not perfect, but this is one of older tracks from I racing. So makes sense to me. But I mean this is a beautiful countryside for this track. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll continue to make more of these videos of random race on my racing. Dirt Racing, TG, Former Racing, NASCAR, whatever you name it, I'll do it. Alright, I'll see you guys later.